Hi, Bill Edstrom here. Now in the book we talked a lot about comping and I want to do an actual demo. Sometimes it's just easier to understand this if you can just take a look at how it actually works on screen. Now a couple of videos ago I did an example showing how to record two multiple takes and to get those takes into layers. So that's pretty essential before you do comping in Studio One. Now comping is creating a composite or taking multiple takes. In this example I've got five different takes of the guitar solo we recorded back in that lesson and I'm going to try to make something kind of useful out of it in the course of this lesson on comping. Now for the setup you can see that all of the individual takes are organized into layers. This one here that I manually put in it's not actually called a take it's called a layer because I just added a layer but if you want you can actually name these anything you want so if you want to get organized I can call this take five I think that's my fifth one and for that matter you can actually put it wherever you'd like to see it in this structure as well. So I've got these in the order that I like and now I need to figure out if any of these are any good. I usually go through and listen and figure out if there's one of these takes that I can kind of use as the main part and then substitute in phrases where I find that that one is just not up to standards. Another really good idea is to save a new version before you start. So if you go into your file menu and use this dialog save new version I almost always do this and type in before comping guitar solo. Certainly if you're working on vocals. That way if this goes horribly wrong you want to get right back to where you were you can just call that version back up and start over and try again. Alright so let's just listen to a little bit of this in context. 